you just came out of a broken relationship a toxic relationship or a bad marriage then this video is for you please don't go anywhere i'll be back shortly welcome back so losing a love partner could be very disheartening sometimes especially when you have invested so much of your time your energy your resources and your hearts and uh, with expectations that the relationship was going to end up in marriage but then unfortunately things fell apart and uh, you guys got your separate ways and the relationship couldn't work yes it could be sometimes hectic but um, you know life is a lesson learning enterprise so whenever you find yourself in such an incident all that you have to do is to carry yourself and pick up the broken pieces and move on according to relationship statistics 50% of people who come out of every broken relationship or marriage are likely to find themselves in the wrong relationship or marriage again 60 percent of people who come out of every second marriages or relationship are also likely to end up in rocks 70 percent of people who come out of third marriages or relationship are likely to also end up in rocks so you can do the projections yourself it goes on and on and on and on with those percentages which are very huge well in today's discussion on the university of life i'm going to help you with four major important things to do immediately you come out of a broken relationship or marriage so number one is allow yourself to heal yes allow yourself to heal emotionally psychologically mentally and physically um, a lot of the times the moment you come out of every toxic relationship every broken relationship most of the things around you your mind your body your soul is in trouble because if you've invested a lot of uh, stuff around you and you are uh, mostly gotten depressed and very stressed so you have to allow yourself to heal and um, what I'm talking about here is not something that could be found in the hospital it's not a particular antidote that you find from any pharmacy because heartbreak has no um, cure in the hospital or in any of the pharmacies so what you have to do is to find healing from your inner self and that is number one on my list allow yourself to heal before you bounce back into any other relationship allowing yourself to heal sometimes too will also be influenced by changing your environment yes um, exploring new things and um, sometimes it is even important to change your environment while you are healing yourself because such an environment that you stayed in for all this while that got your heart broken you don't deserve to stay in that environment during that transition the moment you come out of every first time heartbreak um, while allowing yourself to heal physically emotionally mentally and psychologically you deserve the best so you have to find yourself in a new environment and uh, when you're finding yourself in those new environment to to explore new things you have to make the right decision because some environments are even more toxic to be happy and to heal yourself you have to make a strategic move another way you can also heal yourself is to be happy and love yourself regardless yes you have to be happy you have to love yourself even more one thing is uh, no matter how good you are as a person there are some people that will not like you sometimes they will not love to be with you anymore it doesn't mean you are not good enough you are so why don't you love yourself even more during that moment before allowing anyone else to come into your life to love you more one of the dangerous people i would never love in my life are people who don't love themselves yes because if they don't love themselves they don't appreciate love that much yes they're always waiting for your presence before they feel loved they are the most dangerous people so in order to be loved by someone else to feel it much deeply you need to also find ways and means to love yourself even more when you are alone you have to find ways and means to appreciate who you are be happy love yourself and there has to be that kind of individuality you know that individuality feeling where you don't need somebody else love to feel loved 
uh, you become very dangerous because you don't appreciate love when people show you love alone you don't love yourself it's very dangerous to love such people so once you come out of every toxic relationship and you are now single all that you have to do is to love yourself more number two on my list is what i call lower your expectations mm. this part blew me off when i was finding meanings to it lower your expectations whenever you come out of every first time toxic relationship or marriage yes the reason is until you are 100 percent convinced about your next love partner that is going to come into your life always lower your expectations relax keep your cool stay stay a bit patient pay attention to more details this time and find out more from your potential partner and also always make sure that your decisions are right so that whatever happened before will be a thing of the past number three advice i'm giving out to anyone who just came out of a broken relationship is think positively yes that's number three think positively we live in a world of two different motives generics and specifics so whenever you come out of every broken relationship it is time to figure out where you belong there are a lot of people the moment they come out of every broken relationship they generalize issues they're like oh all men are the same you know all women are the same i'm tired <laughs> it's enough for me you know there's still hope after a heartbreak because your your thinking ability can influence you positively or negatively in your next relationship yes this is the reason you see the lion is one of the animals who thinks positively about himself regardless of his circumstance the lion is not the smartest animal in the animal kingdom it is not the fattest animal but whenever the lion sees the elephant which is the fattest and biggest there's no fear the lion feels he's thinking positively and he will always defeat the elephant and sees the elephant as lunch and not as animal good and the elephant also sees the lion he's afraid he gets paralyzed in fear all of these things happen in your mind okay so whenever you come out of every broken relationship your mind and your thinking ability it becomes very important all starts from here it starts from your mind so why don't you think positively and believe that life has two motives generics and specifics so you don't have to generalize all men into one basket you don't have to generalize all women into one basket and say all men are the same and all women are the same it's a wrong motive there are still genuine single men and single women in the world the fourth advice and it was gonna be my last advice is what I term level up yes you need to level up if you came out of a toxic relationship after going through all the transitions I've given out it is time for you to level up if he or she left you because of a certain reason it is time to level up from there so that you don't become the uh, next topic of discussion yes so if for example if he left you because he said you don't dress well you are not uh, you don't have good manners if he left you because he says you are disrespectful if he left you because of any reason it is time for you to level up from there you know it is it is true we don't love on conditions yes love is unconditional but in our part of the world and how the world has become lately loving unconditionally has become very tough for people yes so whenever you come out of every broken relationship and you feel some of the mistakes that led to the heartbreak were from you it is time for you to level up sit down learn from your mistakes try to become the best version of yourself if um, you have issues with your health that's why they left you it is time to pay attention to your health if you have any issues surrounding you that's why they left you it is time for you to level up from there acquire new knowledge eat well dress well if your dressing was not enough for them it's time for you to dress well um, acquire new knowledge acquire new skills level up i mean place a certain standard a certain value on your life from there i think it is going to be of help to you so these are my four major advice for anyone who just came out of a broken relationship or a toxic relationship or a bad marriage i think the, you find these advice useful the first one was allow yourself to heal 
yes and uh, we talked about um, where you have to relax and make sure that you heal completely before opting for another love partner number two i talked about lowering your expectations where i advise people who have just come out of relationship to relax and be patient enough while making the right choice again number three i talked about thinking positively where i use the lion as a case study the last one i talked about is leveling up yes this is what i just talked about level up yourself and make sure that you become a best version of yourself again to every person who just came out of a broken relationship or a toxic one of course and to anyone who just came out of a bad marriage i'm here to encourage you that there's still hope for you yes when you get the fundamentals right you are going to get it right in your next relationship if there are other things that i couldn't talk about and you want to also be interactive you want to contribute to this platform please don't hesitate at all to leave a comment under the comment section like share and don't forget to subscribe i wish you all the best and i hope you enjoyed this session and you enjoyed the discussion i hope this video was very useful to you thank you so much for coming this far with me on the university of life my name is lee see you in my next video cheers to greatness